going on everyone? My name is Reshma and welcome back to another video and today guys we are talking about one of my most favorite sports of all time. Well, let's just say it's probably one of my favorites and will always be my favorite. I've been playing this game called Pickleball. Now for those of you that never heard of it, allow me to explain it. It is like Ping pong and tennis, it's in between. But today we're gonna to be actually showcasing something really special I received from a friend uh, that makes t-shirts. So uh, I have received another one. Well, actually, I don't think I ever showed my first t-shirts. That's kind of awkward. <laughs> I'll have to do that a little later down the line. But today, guys, we're gonna talk a little about pickleball, what you need to know when you're doing pickleball, and some advice. So. First of all, let's show off that shirt, shall we? And a three, and a two, and a one. Da, 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 da. I wish I could put epic music, but that'd be copyright. So this is my shirt, passionate pickleball player. And on the back, there is something. Uh, let's turn around. Uh oh, I almost dropped the whole thing. And then it says, forget winning. It's fun, that's the main element. Very, very nice. Now you may be asking me, Freshy Mind, this shirt looks very dull. Why is it gray and black? Well, there is actually a rule that applies, and funny enough, this wall back here kind of explains the whole thing. So you play with a wiffle ball, like this. Now you may be like, well, this is yellow and your shirt is gray, right? Well, that's because you can easily see if the wiffle ball is being served by someone. So you see, if someone's serving the ball with a bright shirt on, like, like, like green, you might have a harder time seeing it if you're a person that can't see that far. So, the point is, I'm going to have to do a flipperoo here. <laughs> so if you have the ball right here and you're serving it, you guys can see that much better. That's the perspective on it. Now, another thing to keep in mind is, you know, you always want to be prepared, alert during this, because this may not look like a serious threat, but it could cost you your ankle for a couple weeks. Just saying. I've seen many errors done with slipping, tripping on balls, uh, wiffle balls, that is, or <laughs> crushing the ball completely under your feet. Uh, during league week uh during league two sundays or last sunday uh my teammate actually stepped on one and it was such a <laughs> hilariously reaction but seriously now what do i actually play with that is what we're going to look at next all right so basically this is the paddle i play with this is a uh youth ox sports uh paddle it is basically not one of the cheap paddles out there. It's, I want to say, I want to say around $75 on Amazon I got this for. And you can hear it. I'm not sure if you were able to hear that. <laughs> I probably smacked the camera on it. Uh, but this is a very nice paddle. I actually own four of these. Um, whenever I bring a friend or two, I always let them use these paddles. Uh, very helpful and then basically a wiffle ball uh, you can have your initials marked on it to be honest so that's pretty cool so yeah that is probably what i've been getting into for the past couple weeks or so so uh <laughs> i honestly have been really enjoying this game i was like it's about time i share this with you guys so uh this game is meant to be played inside but it's m more fun outside if you know what i mean but We've had some bad times when we were playing outside. I mean, of course, you're playing on cement instead of a gym floor. Gym floors, they're not as painful as cement. I'll just tell you that. I have not tripped it, but uh, I think one time I was playing at a court with, uh, and we were playing at a court and I forgot to sweep up the area and I almost twisted my ankle on a acorn of all things. I'm not sure, probably that was it. I sure hope I don't have to go through that again. Well, I'll see you guys later. Algiers, if you like this content, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys later. Algiers, peace.